Hi guys, uh, welcome to my review on the virtual mouse for either the NVIDIA Shield or the Mi Box that you can buy at Walmart for $69. Um, I've seen this on the Fire TV sticks. Uh, we've been seeing them. They have a different way of uh, downloading the, the virtual mouse. They have to do it through a uh, downloader. Uh, and download the APK from downloader, but now we officially have it on the Android uh, Google Play Store. Uh, it's called um, Mouse Toggle. It's two dollars, and I just wanted to review it. Uh, it's basically gives the ability for this remote here to have a cursor, and um, what you do is you have to tap where, where we have the volume up. You can see where you have the volume up. We tap that four times, and there it is. There's the, you can see it, and I'm navigating it through here. Um, now what's interesting is, this is uh, Pandora, um, uh, not the Android app Pandora, this is the desktop uh, version. There's a lot of uh, applications where we uh, download, sideload, um, that we need to scroll down and we can't scroll down. And sometimes we use this guy, and this guy works most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't work to scroll down. Like in this application, it doesn't want to scroll down. I tried the left mouse, the D-pad, and uh, so I ended up using this mouse, and it worked to scroll down. So I was like, man, I don't want to use a mouse. So I was like, let me get a virtual mouse for the like the Fire TV stick. And I said, you know, because I don't want to have, it just looks, it looks tacky, you know, to have a mouse. You can, if you have a, you know, you can have a Bluetooth mouse or you could do it that way or a keyboard or, you know, but I figured I wanted to do it on this guy and have this, uh, have that. So tapping it four times and there it is. There's the arrow and you could scroll down. And now to scroll, to scroll this down, it says on the website to hold the select button and hold down. And here, this is how you eliminate the arrow. It's gone. And you can hit back. Then you can bring up the arrow back. And then you could simply scroll down. Look at that. So I, I, I basically hold the center button and the down button simultaneously. I think it works better with two hands if you hold that with another thumb and then this down. So you can scroll up and down. Uh, I couldn't get it to scroll down with this guy. Um, so that was another thing, but um, I know the, the this guy, the remote works with uh, a lot of applications and we use this a lot. Um, but um, this guy, we never used it for that and we always depended on that. Now you don't have to depend always on this and you can start using this more often. And, um, and also uh, the ability to scroll down, like I can't scroll down on this application as you can see. Like it won't let me, not on the, see, can't. So certain applications you need, uh, uh, certain applications you need the virtual mouse sometimes. And then sometimes you need to accept something like you mean, you might be at Tutorium TV where you get that uh, uh, consent, you acknowledge the consent and you need to accept it and you're just like, damn, I need a cursor. And you're just, I couldn't do it with this guy and I ended up doing it with this guy. So it was nice to just tap it four times and then my arrow was there and it's pretty neat. And then you just uh, deactivate it by pressing this guy here. Um, sorry about the light, This the O button, and it turns it off. And then you, it, it turns into a regular remote. So that was pretty, that was pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, I'll show you where it is. It's in the Google Play Store. Um, we'll search for it. Mouse. There it is. Okay, so it's um. Now they had a lot of people were talking about this one here, which re which required it to be rooted, but not anymore. You don't need to root it. Uh, it's not on the Play Store. It says it right there. My mouse toggle for Android TV, and um. We can go and open the application. We go to the support website. And 
this is how I, you know, reading uh, the support website, I, that's how I figured out what devices it did. And you could see right there uh, where to tap it. Tap it on the shield four times right there. On the Mi Box, you would tap the play button two times. I'm sorry, the volume up and plus button is, that's the Mi Box remote. And then the one in the center is the Nexus remote. You have to press the play button twice. Um, so it works for these three devices. Um, but it says right here, um, if you look at the web, uh, a little up here, it says game pads are not supported. The remote control, so this guy right here, it is not gonna work for it. So if I wanted it to, if you want it to scroll, it won't, it, this is the only uh, thing that it'll, it'll work it on work on um, and you can see use your regular mouse scrolling clicking long clicking and dragging works just like a regular mouse um, so yep it's two dollars and I mean I love it I mean look I can bring it right now and it's I gotta actually close that out first and then once you're on the page there it is it's just nice. You can hear you probably click, see if you can click on there. Bam. And then like you want to get to the keyboard, you want to deactivate it. And then you're back on the keyboard. There you go. And then just you want to you want to just probably back out and maybe right there. That's just an experiment. Just it just, it feels exactly like the Fire TV. I had it on the Fire TV. I liked it. So I was like, "Hey, can I do it on my Shield remote?" Make this more useful because I'm always depending on the big remote, and I couldn't even scroll down on the big remote on certain applications. So I was, that was a, that was that's what led me to find this. Um, so yeah, it's like I said, it's two dollars, and um, it's worth it. Uh, you can see right there. Uh, press the home button to deactivate, which is this guy here um, that deactivates it, uh, and. Yeah, it's 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 in my opinion, um, it's it's definitely worth it. You just pretty much when you get into the applications, you have to open settings, and where it says mouse toggle, you turn that on, on the shield. So yeah, you can see it's on the Nvidia Shield, um, and I love it. Uh, it's nice to have a mouse cursor without having to connect one, um, and when you already have this, so might as well just and then just deactivate it, and it, you it it doesn't doesn't lag or anything it's and it's you're, you're back to your remote control you can bring it on any screen you can bring it on here too you can see it really nice really nice so yeah I um, I strongly recommend it um, uh, it's in in the Google Play Store I hope it helps uh, works on the Mi Box um, try it out man two bucks I, I think it was worth the two bucks um, um, Anyways, I uh, hope it helped any of you guys. Um, you guys have a good one. Peace.